Catalyst by Catherine Yasuna, UC Davis. What do these items have in common? Pharmaceuticals, margarine, corn syrup, and biofuel. The answer? Catalysts. They all require catalysts at least once during their production. So, what is a catalyst? A catalyst is a substance that is added to a chemical reaction that speeds up the reaction by lowering the activation energy. For example, enzymes are a type of catalyst. This is a reaction coordinate diagram. Today, we'll compare two reactions, one without a catalyst and one with a catalyst. This side shows how much energy is needed to run the reaction as it progresses. This side shows the progress of the reaction. This curve shows the progress of a reaction without a catalyst. And this curve shows the progress of a reaction with the catalyst. Notice how the catalyst lowered the activation energy of the reaction. As you can see from this diagram, the catalyst is not consumed by the reaction, rather it simply speeds up the reaction. So, how are catalysts used in our previous examples of pharmaceuticals, margarine, corn syrup, and biofuel? Let's start with pharmaceuticals. Many pharmaceuticals have two versions. These differing structures are called enantiomers. These two versions are not always equal. Often one enantiomer is either less effective, inactive, or harmful. Pharmaceutical companies utilize a special type of catalyst called a chiral catalyst. Chiral catalysts increase the rate of formation of only one of the enantiomers. This enables the companies to save money and produce more potent and efficient drugs. Margarine is considered to be a healthier alternative to butter. Its creation relies on hydrogenation using a nickel catalyst. Hydrogenation is the process of adding hydrogen to an organic molecule with the assistance of a metal catalyst. High fructose corn syrup is a sweet syrup found in many foods and drinks. It requires enzymes, which are a type of catalyst, to change glucose into fructose, which is an important step in the creation of high fructose corn syrup. Even biofuel is affected by catalysts. Recently, scientists discovered a new catalyst that can inexpensively create hydrogen from ethanol. This could allow environmentally friendly hydrogen-powered vehicles to become a feasible alternative to gasoline-powered vehicles in the near future. These four examples are only the beginning. Many items used in our everyday lives, including ourselves, would not exist without catalysts. 